forward to this matchup for Syro. Yeah, he, I've seen him go Meta Knight in the beginning, but, you know, Roy, he's like, uh, I got it. He was, I was even asking him, like, why don't you go Chrom against him? He's like, yeah, but the, the angle that Roy hits uh, off stage with his aerial, it sends out a better, like, gimping angle, so I like Roy better. And Roy also has a recovery that can mess up um, Nitro's recovery on his way up. Oh, that's a good point. I didn't think about that. Yeah, uh, he actually got Nitro with that uh, like a few times in the last set that they played here. Another thing about Roy is he he can get a tipper hit on on Nitro, and he can still get them. Like the the evenness of the Falcon Sword doesn't really apply too too much in this situation. Because he could just do that. Like, he could bait Nitro into a tech situation, read where Nitro's gonna land, and just punish him accordingly. I'm very surprised that Nitro went for an up B instead of just going uh, tech jump, air dodge, F smash, charges up, and actually hit by. Yeah, Syro posted he's like one of the only people who knows how to fight against Belmont in SoCal. And honestly, he's made that a point. He has such a dominant record over si uh, Nitro. What the hell was that combo? Roy. Roy's finally a character, guys. The system really loves Roy. Bro, he's been, in the, he's been in games for so long, even in his own final game, trash. Finally, he has his breath of fresh air. I think Sakurai was done messing with him and the other developers, obviously. Yeah, like, Roy has been the worst uh, Fire Emblem Lord in existence. And then he's finally one of the best Lords in, in Smash Brothers. It's, it's a good redemption story for Roy here. Yeah, everyone. Everyone finally chanting Roy's our boy for good reason. I should play against him when he can jab it, you know, 80. And, and just blow up. <laughs> now Syro is looking for that jab and that, uh, and the dancing blade. Or double edged sword? Yeah. Double edged dance. Double edged dance. Oh god, now Nitro is, he's throwing out the whole, he's throwing it all out at him. But suddenly, uh, not suddenly, but surprisingly, Syro actually survived all of it. I love his patience that he used to get off the ledge. And understanding the situation that he was put in in the last in the last sets, just air dodging past the up air. Oh my god, he oh, was a little bit closer. That was that a was good tippered. by shield. Yeah, that was either a dead shield or a shield poke. You know, Cyrus still looking for the skill, but Nitro. Never mind. I was gonna say doing a really good job of avoiding the jab. Yeah, go away. <laughs> okay. Not coming back. Like. Yeah, that was even like not even the sweet spot. You know what? You got it. Like again, as I was saying before, like it doesn't even matter if. If it's just Tipper, just a little hit is enough to kill the Belmonts. Ooh, he, he turned around uh, on his recovery there, not able to get the jab on that Nitro's recovery. They're finally going to kill 200% across the stage. This is a big deficit for Nitro, but the way that he plays, uh, the way that he plays Richter, I can see it happen. He's able to rack up damage so fast. And yeah, Nitro really conscious with how he he's moving around the stage and how he's trapping his character, uh, his opponents. In Doing really well at reacting to what Syro wants to do. It's also like, like he, he's doing well at keeping his mobile out, but Syro's doing just a little bit better at, at breaking his zone. Syro looks just so comfortable in this matchup. Like a lot of people are like, oh my god, I don't know what I'm doing. So I was like, all right, just wait for this. All right, we'll do this now. Like he just looks so comfortable, and you can even see the way he's playing. He's not like moving around trying to create pressure. He's just standing there, patient. I'm gonna give this. I'm, I'm gonna get this hit eventually. On God, I will hit you. All right, gets the Z grab on the flame, on the holy water there. Ooh, and not gonna die. 131. percent This is all burned. Nitro makes one mistake. He's speaking the devil. The factor comes out. Oh, he wants it. Extra straight. Uh, Boy, it's not an option. Yeah, Nitro can take that game one with a two stock. He looked, again, so comfortable. Oh, that's mad good. What the hell? Remember, you never had curves? No, it hits different when I'm thirsty. Yeah. I remember when SD it's got it. It's been a while since I had that. I remember when SD got a true studio to it. Ooh. Good. One of the best drinks you can ever have. Uh, I didn't see the stage, right? Uh, it is PS2, I think. Oh, okay. Roy! But I'm not really, uh, I don't really think either of these players are going to change characters here, so we've seen Roy and uh, Richter throughout the whole match. I'm going to be excited. Yeah, and if it's PS2, it benefits uh, Richter a little Three, bit more. It's a larger two, stage. He has, he has more uh, more stage to work with. 
and Cyro has a little bit more of zone than he did. Wow, he just went for that pivot grab. He knew where Nitro wanted to be. No, no, no. Cyro is actually moving right now. Yep, don't touch my shield. I will up the it. Yeah, he's turning on the NOS. Like, he wants this Belmont gone. Great parry, but unfortunately, even even parry just that. Yeah, you know, that was max range, so I don't really think he could have gotten the punish except maybe dash attack, but I don't, I don't think so. No, uh, dash attack wind up is a little bit too much. He tried it, like, dash grab was, is faster than dash attack, and even that wasn't enough to catch him with up uh, before the upbeat came out. That's true, I remember. Yeah, dash attack does have that, uh, that wind up. I tried to catch him on the recovery there, but. Uh, Not dead yet. For, for how many times that uh that his up B will just do the sparks and how much knockback it has, I'm surprised every time like it doesn't do like no you should be dead. Like for real though, like it like it should kill at the percents that it's it's showing. But with the properties that, that it has, it's just not allowing the opponent to die. Like you just DI straight right or straight left, depending on where the where the Belmont is facing. And more than likely, you're not dying. I love that condition he's now just had on Cyro. He's throwing out the axes a lot, and then he just conditioned Cyro to just neutral get up real softly. He's like, alright, I got you. Just gonna quick F tilt. Oh, so the jab side B is something that Cyro's actually doing on purpose. What the heck? I feel like I feel like it does work, but I think the timing. I feel like that's like only if your opponent's DIing hard in on all hits. That's true. I'm not sure. If it is, not okay. <laughs> oh, running up to him, you're not escaping me. 12% on Cyro, he's doing a good job of me. Making sure he doesn't get too far behind. Down throw, gonna go with the Nair, very nice. Catches the DI in and no DI. A lot of a lot of people when they fight Richter, they just wanna keep jump uh running in. They're trying to hit him and then they just end up taking so much damage. You see Cyro here, he's just he's not always trying to run in. Stay patient, he's like, all right, this is my opening. I'll stay like this. And that's honestly just the way Cyro plays a lot, too. Yeah, Cyro likes to read his opponents first, wait for the option, react to it, and and bait out the punish. Ooh. He's really missing the jab back there. I think that was because Nitro DI'd in. Yeah, he started off with a uh, tipper up air and tried to continue the combo, but he was a little bit, he went a little bit too far on the back air there. Definitely. I definitely believe that that would have killed Nitro because it would put him into a, uh, a recovery situation and Cyro would just mop him with with fair, really. And that would have just kill. So, which part of like Roy's uh, up here is better for combo? Is it the sweet spot or the sour? Sweet like, spot. Okay. Um, at, at low to midish percents, sweet spot is the best thing to get. If you're trying to set up for kills, at higher percents, you want to go for tipper, um, simply because uh, you up air basically has no landing lag, right? You could just jump. You could jump and and probably like raw bear or get get a fair. Most of the times, uh, people will go with another up air because of the fastest thing they can do while rising. But for Cyro. He, he understands the character really well and just decides it to go with a jab just so he could uh, set up into the back air. So that's what we were talking about before. Uh, jab the back air is a true combo at some crazy percents for Roy and it's not okay. And Cyro is one of the best at hitting it. Well, uh, Cyro is really good at getting hit because <laughs> Nitro was turning it up, no jump here. Cyro had such a fat lead, and then all of a sudden, Nitro literally got that one hit. He took Cyro's jump while he was off stage, and he took so much damage for it, and that's it. Be gone, honestly. You don't belong in this world. Back when, uh, back when Ultimate first launched, I saw like you would see a bunch of uh, Belmont players, and you'd always see them, you know, on the ledge do holy water. And my favorite thing to do is just yell, "Take this, take this!" a bunch of times, yeah. and then everyone stopped playing Belmont. <laughs> For all is good. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so one one. Nitro really turned up that last stock. Cyro had a pretty good pacing for that match. He was winning most of it, and then yeah, he got that one hit. Nitro turned it up to eleven. Alright, going into it, I didn't see what stage he picked this time. 
Uh, going into Yoshi's. You do not see people counterpick this. Actually, no. You you see people counterpick this when they don't realize that their opponent likes it. For a lot of people, this is like their instant ban. Like, uh, what do you ban? Yoshi's in. Oh, I have to think about it. <laughs> Yeah, this should oh, work out for Syro. It is a smaller stage. He has, like, he has one platform to work with. He has one long platform. Uh, not much Nitro can really do uh, to trap Syro on that platform, really. Uh, and he dies extra early off the sides on uh, Yoshi's. Yeah. Honestly, both Yoshi's Island and Story are just not okay stage with how small they are. And I love it. I, I honestly didn't think that back air would have killed. That's another tipper back air. Oh, There's yeah, the get away. Yeah, go away. Syro already taking this first stock, making the counter pick look so good. We see, you see so little of like Yoshi's Island just because people always get it. But, like when you don't, when someone counter picks that, they obviously know like, all right, I have some BS prepared for this. But to the same to the same effect, you can say that it's so it's really good for Ricky too. You have you can put the holy water down on the slants. I don't know how that changed it, but it just doesn't sound okay. And the fact that Richter already can kill off the side a lot, so you just die earlier. Yeah. Oh wow, that slant really helping uh, Syro out there. The forward tilt just going right above his head and double edge as already. No way. I don't know what you're doing out there, bro. I'm saying the, the stage does not belong to you. I guess the back air on the double jump there. That's the holy water and cross setup. No. Tries to throw the holy water again, but uh, the last holy water is still on a bit of cooldown. I can assure you that if Nitro threw out that holy water, the stock would have been gone. Oh, look at the two piece combo with the cross and the axe. No, 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 no it's fine. All right, jumping up with a double jump fair. Still setting up camp here. Cyro's been really good at avoiding the, a lot of these projectiles, and Bear not killing. Yeah, we got the tip of Bear. Like I said, throw it on the slant. Look how it just kind of slid down. Slid in oh, like that's that right. It does slide. Yeah, slants are just not okay in Smash, to be honest. They make weird things happen, but I'm not fine with them. All right, extending his hand out, getting hit by the forward air there. Oh, I like how Cyro... Just waited there and then roll past the cross. I'm sure he wanted to punish, but he realized that cross was gonna mess it up. Would have gotten away for it, way with the two walls for that pesky cross. All right, very nice dash attack to catch uh, Syro on the on the offensive there. Catches is down there with the up air, not gonna be able to follow up with anything else. He's back on the ledge. So Syro, pretty good control of this match. Just kind of stuck on the top platform to let Syro do it. Wait a minute, bro. Got him with a tipper up air. He definitely got banished there. 57% on Nitro. We saw how he brought it back this last game. Cyrus so probably going to try his best to avoid that. Oh, what a punish. Just like that, I told you. Jab, Tip fall down. Yeah, I know what yeah, you're going to do. Like, tipper, up air, jab. You have an option to like that. Yeah, I'm sure. uh, he was on, like, the very edge of the platform. Where I'm pretty sure he realized that he couldn't get a... He couldn't do the turnaround back. He would have had to attack cancel it. So it was like, all right, let's see what he does. That air dodge hurt. I think uh, he caught his jump with with up air. I I didn't see that part, but I believe it. Cause like for he either caught it with with uh with up air or or jab. Because Nitro is one to to just jump out of that, honestly. And to see him not jump and instead air dodge, there must have been a moment where he lost it. Yeah, he either lost his jump or just had an on got panic reaction. So game four now, Cyro up to one. Not see the stage again. Back to Pokemon Stadium. Yeah, that's about what I thought. That's a really, I, I've noticed how much he likes the stage. And like you said earlier, with all the control that uh, the Rickers get for it. Look at this. Uh, Look at his condition he's got on that top platform. We got so much damage, just some pressure. Yeah, especially with, with how, how much smaller these platforms are. Control a lot more space with with both, uh, with just all of his arrows in general. Richter really loves these small platforms. And that, what? Why not? Honestly, I like it. Just because, like, back throw sends you nowhere. And so once you do, go for that attack, you're like, all right, free grab. 
Alright, can't go with the double edge chance there. Not gonna be able to kill just yet, but he gets no it fair. Get the hell away from me. <laughs> He's gotten so many of those gifts. Yeah, we, we've been seeing that all night. I mean, to be fair, he hasn't got like a crazy early game. He's usually got them in like 50, 70 range. But that's so good. Yeah, especially with a character with as much kill power as the Belmont. It's really crucial at getting them as quickly as possible. Yeah, and for how much people struggle at, at guarding the Belmont, Cyro just kind of has that to a team. Alright, running away from the cross, running through the axe. Very nice maneuvering from Cyro here. Nitro oh, not God. looking like he knows what to do. Cyro definitely had that air dodge read when he did the jab. He could have he could have down aired or done something else, but it looked like he just decided to retreat and go back. Alright, gets a parry on the back air, but not gonna be able to connect into anything else. Okay. Alright, I like with the jack, get the hell off my shield. I like what he's doing here. Yeah, I, I really like that uh I like that holy water on the top platform. Oh my god, just continuously charging that flare blade, knowing that he still has some recovery frames left in his uh, in that tank there. Double edge chance yeah, gonna work against him, not gonna kill just yet. I like how Cyrus stopped at the third one because he's like, if I do this, it'll be a big punish. And then the second Nitro realized that he was winning, even a millisecond immediate up he come. What frame does Uppy start? I have never looked, I have not looked at a single frame data for the Belmont. But it's looking fast. I'll, I'll look that up actually after. It, it's after gotta be second. like at least 24. What is with, what's with Sakurai and making all these like up Bs that kill like frame 4? Like Zero Suit, Bayonetta, Smash Forward, frame 4, Marcina. Oh, that's right, Marcina. Sakurai really just likes up Bs. He just wants people to get out of situations quicker. He can get out of the situation. That's what got out of this deficit. He's actually taking the lead. Oh, oh wow. wow. That's a back air. That Flare Blade almost worked against him. If Flare Blade didn't have the recovery frames it did now, that was definitely a dead Roy. Yeah, that is deceptively fast, no ending like you almost never get a punish. He's speaking of punish, that F-Smash coming to clutch. Cyro now moving up. All right, landing with double edge dance, not going to be able to connect to the last hit. Up air, uh, up B, not going to uh, not gonna kill him yet. But now, Nacho throwing out that F kill, it's so good, it's so fast, you can't really punish it. And once you get that tipper hit, it just kills you. It's so scary to, to be against because you don't know how to get away from it. And what Nacho will do is he'll throw out F tilt, F tilt, and then like, do a jump there because they're like, oh, I need to jump away from this. F tilt, we're going to push him back off stage. Nitro is setting up camp. What a great, uh roll there from Cyro. Ooh, not expecting the upgrade to connect. I definitely thought it was just gonna snap on ledge as well, but Nacho having other plans, hitting Cyro away from him. Down tilt out of a uh, out of the disadvantage. You see you see Belmont do that a lot, but like a just down tilt go away because you just go so far and a lot of people will drop shield, especially out of the corner, but once you get to bait that out, you get a full punish. You get to do whatever the hell you want. Yeah and and if you do get the hit with the down tilt you can go into down tilt too. But right, you have a really good option to like uh, using down tilt from uh, the Belmonts. Especially if the, the opponent's unaware of what you can do out of it. Nitro just controlling the stage once again. Having camp set up. Okay, I respect the spot dodge here. He expects the Nitro to do his shield grab after the jab ended. So again. You see Cyro, and like I was saying earlier in their uh, winner's quarter set, that Cyro, Cyro even told me, like, man, I would always have this full stock lead, and then he would always bring it back, and that's what's been happening. I'll have the lead, and then Nacho's like, what about just one? And <laughs> uh, shield mighty thin. If Cyro's shield gets hit once more, it should be the stock. Oh, yep, going for the, going for the gimp again. This is one jab away, or double edge uh, dance from taking the stock for Cyro, but he just needs to get that final hit. Oh, sliding F tilt. Gonna take that, close that one out, 3-1. Very good job on Cyro's part there, just keeping it cool at the very end and catching him with the sliding F tilt. Yeah, all right, uh, let me check on that up B, because I feel, I, I feel like you're right. I feel like it's just not okay with how fast. Uppercut is frame six. Frame six? That's still really good. That's still something. Yeah, with the 
Like, it don't feel like frame six. It feels a little bit faster than that, but I don't know. What, what do I know? It's milliseconds. We're yeah. Here. With Zero Suit being like frame four and then this being frame six, that's not that much different.